Hey guys, it's Ruth Schroner with Get Ginger Fit. I'm your team beach body coach and I'm bringing you my week one review of Hammer and Chisel. So to back up just a little bit, I came into this program right after Body Beast, completing Body Beast. I set two, what I would say, aggressive goals for myself. No wine and no sweets, eek, <laughs> for the 60 days of this program. I did build in two caveats, one for my birthday and one for, um, a business trip to LA where one night I'll have a glass of wine if I want to. So those are my goals and my caveats. And I really did this because, you know, my lifestyle now is very 80, 20, 21 day fix. And I talk a big game in my challenge groups. I talk about self-discipline and control and being capable of reaching any goal. And I do believe that people are capable of that. They have to know what they want and they have to decide to go after it um, full force. So I decided to give up these things because, one, it's a huge challenge for me. It's a big practice of self-discipline, but also because it really puts me back in that mentality of a new challenger. I am building new habits, essentially, because chocolate and wine are part of my weekly normal lifestyle plan now. So I wanted to lock it up and just kind of go back to being very self-disciplined and following the nutrition plan and seeing what's going to happen to my body along the way. So that's why I'm doing this. So I'll talk to you a little bit about week one of Hammer and Chisel. Number one, I love, love, love the fact there's two trainers and that it switches between the two of them. I love that. I also love the nutrition plan. I love how it incorporates the portion control containers. It makes it super simple to follow. Um, and it's just laid out for you. There, there are no tricks or things, to, hoops to jump through. It's super easy. If you're curious, I am eating from Nutrition Plan B. I chose that I wanted to build muscle during this program. So I'm eating th uh, with Nutrition Plan B. I get three yellows and three fruits. Whoop, whoop. I'm super excited about that. Um, so that's pretty awesome. It's a lot of food. If you've done 21 Day Fix, you know it's a lot of food. So let's talk about the workouts. The workouts utilize the stabilization method. I cannot remember the perfect name of it right now. Basically, there's a lot of balancing. Um, there's a lot of slow movements, controlled movements. I'm going to be totally honest. Like, this is not my style of workout at all. I like high-intensity cardio. I like the Shanti fast, fast, fast stuff. So this is really challenging my mindset more than anything. Take the slower workouts, couple it with the more food I'm eating, and you guys, I'm back to where a lot of my challengers start mentally. I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm gonna get fluffy. Oh my goodness, this is too slow, it's not gonna do anything. Here's what I will tell anybody who feels like that, that's just started a new workout program, or maybe you feel like that now with Hammer and Chisel. I am choosing to trust the program because Every Beachbody program that I've done, I felt like this at one point or another. Every P90X3, Body Beast for sure, I was like, there's no way. Um, there's no way I'm not going to gain weight through this program or I'm not, or my body is going to get fluffy. Like, it was a mental challenge. And I'm going through that, ag that again just because it is different. It's a change. And when anything in life changes, it's human nature for us to question it and judge it, second guess it. So I'm asking you if you're feeling like that to go with me on this journey and to trust the process fully. I know Beachbody puts out ama amazing programs and they work and they get you results. So although I'm feeling maybe like some of some new challengers are, I want you to trust this program and I want you to continue on with me. I truly believe that I'm going to see some crazy, crazy results from this program while eating at the elevated calorie level. So I'm very excited. I've talked to people who are in the test group and they ate at the same calorie level. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to trust that. And I'm going to push through my workouts. The workouts, like I said, are slower. They are intense. Last night was pretty ugly. I was cussing at Autumn multiple times. <laughs> just going to be honest. I wanted to quit multiple times. I think I almost cried. And it's not like they're not even like that hard. It's just different, right? It's just different. It's not what I'm used to. And um, so yeah, I guess my point of the week is, is I'm struggling through week one. And I'm going to continue to just carry on 
and trust the process. And I know someday I'll look back at this and I'll say I'm so happy I didn't quit. I'll continue to post my results photos. They're posted on my um, Instagram and on my fitness page on Facebook. So check those out. And I'm going to celebrate because I've went eight days without alcohol and sweets. I did have a dream last night, though, that I <laughs> was eating frosting from a spoon. That's a legit, like, I, I had that dream. I'm crazy, right? So I can do this. You guys can do this. We're going to reach our goals together. I'm excited to keep moving forward, so let's keep rocking it out.